we are here right now with our small school spotlight correspondent, Ali Marpat. Ali, thank you for joining us. Thrilled to be on the pod. Long time listener, first time caller. Very excited. <laughs> Well, welcome on. So Allie's a very humble guy. So let me gas you up really quick, Allie, because I know that you're not going to do it yourself. Wow. So small school spotlight, you are Hobart's finest. Hobart and William Smith College, a college of 2,271 enrollment, a Division three football school. You were the 2014 Liberty League co Co-Offensive Player of the Year. Yeah, baby. Oh, nice. uh, 2015 Senior Bowl. Drafted 61st overall by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2015, where you were teammates with your boy and you ended your career as a pro bowler and a Super Bowl champ. 101 games, 101 starts, seven years in the oh, league. Fire. Also the, the highest drafted pick in the history of D3 football. Allie, wow. is it safe to say That's that you're a- the are you the greatest D3 football player of all time? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I mean, what? I, I, Who I, better? I, it's nice to be involved in the conversation, but I think there's some other guys that, uh, like who, like who you already know the answer. Like who, so who, who's better? Be London, London Fletcher is probably the, the guy. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. Okay. I so, like that answer. And also, yeah. Fred Sam Jackson. Mills is good too. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Linebacker from Montclair state college. I did my prep for this one. Al, you're in trouble, brother. <laughs> I'm just saying like there, it's rare that you get the O lineman though, so maybe I could best get beat best D three O lineman. Okay, um, but self proclaimed. Yeah, self proclaimed. There's some there's some good guys coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Ali could be a part of a mean grid if someone put together a grid with his <laughs> Hobart. <laughs> Not a lot of Hobart players in the NFL. Actually, the last one was drafted. Fred King. You know when Ali? Uh, gosh. This that came out like during the draft process. I was like nineteen twenty seven or something. Is that twenty two? Close. Nineteen thirty seven. Oh, Thirty seven. Good wow. shit, man. He's yeah. humble, he's handsome, he's smart. And he's our uh, correspondent. I'm, I'm here representing all the small school guys, you know, not getting the love. So Absolutely. Uh so we just got a couple questions for you. Um facts, what do you got for my guy Ali? So the transition, well, everyone's probably always asked. When you made the jump from D3, that talent pool that you were going against for, for those years, how, how much different was it when you got into your first NFL camp? I mean, it was wildly different. I mean, so like, <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like I, uh, uh, I mean, when you're getting your reps against, like at the time with Gerald McCoy, like that was like the one-on-one like pass rush. And it's yeah. like, like, I I had no no chance. <laughs> like the, first couple, the first couple of reps, I looked stupid. <laughs> um, but if I, like the truth is, for me, I was a, a higher drafted pick, so there was still like a belief. So I was like, you're expected to start. So it, yeah. that's unique about my path. Like most un, like small school guys have to like fight tooth and nail to like get yeah. that job. Where I kind of was like a little bit pushed into it, and the fact that I was drafted in the second round. Um, so it was trial by fire for me. It was like, Hey, you have to figure it out. And I'll never forget Allie. I think it was probably your rookie year. You guys came up and played us in Philly. That was that your rookie year? 2015. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys ran the fuck out of the ball on us too. I remember lining up against you like, who the fuck is this guy? I got the scouting report. I was like, what is going on here? (laughs) 200. I don't know. It wasn't 200 yards, but it was, I think we got a a game, a O-line game ball for that game. I had, you just des- you deserved it, man. I mean, we had a couple guys in our defensive front seven that did not have great games. Not me. I played fucking great. Obviously, I've never had a bad snap in my life. Um, but Allie, we're super excited to do this small school spotlight with you. Um, you know, kind of like what you were saying. A lot of these guys are really good players, and they don't get a lot of love. So we're, you know, as much as we love talking about. You know, the NFL, we're primarily a college football podcast, so excited for you to shed the, you know, shed some light on some of these guys. And how, so just about how I feel about it, honestly, the small school guys, like the D3, mm-hmm. like, like, this is, this is non scholarship. Like, this is for the love of the game. Like, exactly. The love of the game. Like, this exactly. is like, this is like Walk amateur, on status. amateur Olympics, you know? Like, yeah. this is like, like, so that's for me why it's so cool. I think you guys know, like, when you get to the pro level, there's, it takes a little something out of the game, but like yep. D, the D three level, I'm telling you, you guys, those guys are just love, love football. 
Yeah, man. You, you don't have the same equipment staffs. You don't have the same athletic trainers. You don't have the same weight rooms as places like Alabama or Wisconsin or even Virginia, you know, Nate. So Hot tub, cold tub, all that type of stuff. Facilities different. I, no, I get it. Like, it's for the love Allie was game. Taping, his own, taping his own ankles before practice. Well, we, had, we had a student a student trainer, actually. Oh, actually, okay. I, okay. No, here's the thing. I didn't even really tape in college. So I didn't need to. So my first couple training camp practices, I went out non-taped. And... They were like, they were like what? what the hell are you doing? <laughs> like, rookie, get your ass up and yeah, go exactly. and get tape. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, so, Allie, one small school guy I want to ask you about that you're probably very familiar with. Um, you know, he's got some long red hair. He's got gap tooth. He's from Minnesota. These are all things that I can personally identify with that I love. <laughs> Uh, but Cody Mock is, uh, you know, an offensive lineman for the Bucks from FCS school, NDSU. How do you see him uh, transitioning the NFL so far after his first two weeks of playing? Yeah, he's done a great job. Um, it, it's a similar situation to me. So, like, a little bit of trial by fire. Like, he's expected to start and get the job done, which is a tough thing to do. Um, but really, I think there were some concerns about, you know, how he might hold up in the run game playing for, again, from he was a tackle in college, how would he transition to playing guard in the NFL? And from everything I've seen, he's done a really nice job. I mean, there's definitely some aspects of his game that I know he's going to continue to get better at, and there's a pretty high ceiling. Uh, and that's usually the upside for a lot of those small school guys. Like, there's a base, a foundation, but then there tends to be some, some upside. So hopefully he'll play, his play will get better throughout the year. Yeah, absolutely. A big, big one coming up on Monday night against – the Philadelphia Eagles, so excited to watch that. Obviously, you know, North Dakota State is not not, not quite Division Three, so we'll we'll make sure to <laughs> shed the uh, spotlight on some more of those small school D3, D2, and even FCS in the future. But, Allie, thank you so much for coming on. I'm so excited I could rope you into this. Uh, really excited to get more stories from you, from your playing yeah. days, and some more spotlights. And I'm sure That's everyone fun. will be excited to hear more about some of these D3 gyms that we'll be talking about here in the future on the show. That, that's right. I can't wait to uh, to highlight them up. That, yeah, that around. dog is excited too. I love get him, it. Bernie. I love hey, it. Get Bernie. Get Bernie. Get Bernie on the podcast, man. <laughs> Bernie is pumped. I love it. Let's go. <laughs>